back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's show, we're going to talk about asparagus. It's one of my favorite things to cook. You can buy fresh asparagus, and then all you have to do is boil it. I usually rinse it first, and then boil it, and then run it in cold water. Another thing you can do is you can use asparagus that comes in these jars like this. And all we need to do is to prep a pan for the ingredients that we want to put it in. So for ingredients, besides a pan with a cover, we're going to need an onion, we're going to need some butter, half a stick, garlic, comes in the bulb and we'll will use at least three cloves today. I have a new toy to try today. It is a grinder for garlic. Isn't that cool? Kind of like a spice grinder, so we'll give that a try. You'll also need to spice things. So I have for spice some soy sauce. And you know what's funny? I have the whole bottle of, of sauce in the uh, cupboard. But I haven't gone and used it because you get these free packages every time you order Chinese food out and they give you so many of them, you know. Now also to uh, spice things up, you'll need some kind of ingredient like white wine. You can also use apple cider vinegar or you could use lemon juice or fresh lemon. For oil, you will need a vegetable oil, a peanut oil, olive oil, or bacon grease. And I'm going to use the bacon grease today. One of the things that's kind of neat to do is to do this for an hors d'oeuvre. And you can wrap bacon around an asparagus, so you cook up some bacon. This little device here, you pour the grease in the top and it catches the solids and then catches the grease in the bottom. So we'll use that today for our bacon grease. I can set this aside. Don't need that. So let's get started. Stick of butter. Throw it in there. Put it on a burner. Turn the burner on. Get that going. I'll also put some grease in there. I'm just going to take a teaspoon and use most of a teaspoon. You can always add more later if you want. There we go, that looks good. Now let's think about our other ingredients that we need here. We'll get going on this. So I have some garlic, it looks like already cut up. And it looks like I have three of them here that look pretty good. So I need to knock the ends off these. That's a little small you might want to just go for another one just so you get enough garlic and then you can take your lid and put your lid on here give it a shake off comes the paper Just like that. Here's a chopper. If you want to put it in the chopper, put it inside here like this. Well, you know, I have to say that this is a big success. This is a lot nicer 
than using this press. It does a lot better job than using the press. Let's check on the oil and the butter. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. Do we need to start with our onion? So let's take this great big huge onion. Cut it in half, like that. Put a little slit in it here, take off the canopy. There we go, that looks pretty good. Get it all nice and clean here. This was, looks like it's kind of a funny grown one. Sometimes they come that way. And if you want, you can cut all these up. I would recommend you cut them up pretty small. I'm going to try this new fancy chopper with the onions as well. Put some onion in here. Just cut stuff up so it fits in the chopper. I'm going to do a whole big show on these types of gadgets. I have a whole box of it that UPS brought me and delivered. I just haven't uh, produced it yet. So keep an eye on the website and you'll see that. I got a whole box, all these things for doing all the, the uh, cutting and grinding and mandolins. And I'm going to do a whole show on that. And if you want, you can keep an eye on the website which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. And also, too, while I'm thinking of it, click on the subscribe button. It's in the lower right-hand corner right now. And hit the bell so when I drop a new video, you'll get notified. Let's give this fancy chopper a try with some onions. It has a little garlic in the bottom. Let's see what it looks like. The motor changes sounds once it uh, gets all chopped. I gotta tell you, that does a fantastic job. Oh my gosh, that's that looks about as good as the minced garlic that I buy. I think this tool is a keeper, that's for sure. Let's see how our butter's looking here. Almost. Go ahead and put this in here. This will probably drive the neighbors crazy because it smells so good. This is a good way to make friends with your neighbors if you live in a condo building. Pretty soon I'll be charging for admission. Today I'm cooking for Barb and I. She came over and she's the floor producer today for this episode. So now I have the garlic, I have the, the onions, I have them sauteing. Now you have to wait until the onions turn clear. But don't go too far because if you go too far, you'll burn your garlic. If you burn your garlic, no one's going to want to eat it. And here's a big chunk that didn't get cut up, so that's something you got to watch too. The asparagus looks really good. Now when you buy them in the jar like this, they're already trimmed. So what's neat about this is you just rinse them, and I rinsed them in the strainer. Now sometimes you're working with the fresh ones, and you have to cut off the bottom, which is the stalk. And the way you know that is you take a fresh asparagus, hold it in your hand from one end to the other, and you break it. Wherever it breaks, that's how much is the stalk. And then you set it down on the cutting board, and then you cut all the rest of them at the same length. To get rid of that, pitch those. They taste kind of woody. Now, I'm going to take a hand of this asparagus, and I'm going to put it in. just like this 
you have to have this turned down to medium. And then next you want to use your choice of white wine, the lemon, or apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead and let's do some apple cider vinegar on this one. And let's see how that tastes. to let these go for a few minutes and we'll see what they look like. One little trick that I like to do is when I'm working on the kitchen counter is I get these little pieces of foil. I buy them in pre-cuts and I have the box on the back counter. And what's nice is you can set this on your counter and then you can use this to hold your spatula and things like that. Now these are all done and they look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out just like this okay and those are the ones that have the apple cider now let's do some more these cooking and with these let's do the white wine So we're going to see how those taste. I got a feeling those are going to taste really good because they smell really, really, really good. Next, let's do our peanut oil. Just a couple of tablespoons. This is smelling really good, so we're getting about done on this one. Let's go ahead and let's put our lemon juice splash, a couple of tablespoons on that. And then we'll just let that finish. And in a minute we'll see how it tastes. Well, this smells really good. We have the lemon juice just finishing up. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. this up and then we'll give each one of these a test and we'll see which ones we like best. So there is your three different methods with asparagus tips. Apple cider vinegar, white wine, lemon juice. I got a feeling the white wine is going to be my favorite. So we'll see how that goes. That's the show for today. Thanks for joining us.